In today's video, I'm going to teach you how to create a new calendar in Outlook and will guide you through the process in just five minutes. This quick and easy guide will help you organize your schedule effectively, whether it's for personal use, work, or managing family events. Let's dive right in. First, you'll need to go to the Outlook login page, which is where we'll start our journey. Open your preferred web browser, such as Chrome or Firefox, and navigate to Microsoft's official Outlook page. You can simply type Outlook login in the search bar and it should be one of the top results. Once you reach the page, you'll see a sign in button on the screen. Click on it to proceed. After clicking sign in, you'll be directed to a page where you need to enter your Microsoft account credentials. Make sure you have your login information handy. Enter your email address and then the password associated with your account. If you have set up two-step verification, complete that process as well to securely access your account. Once you're logged in, you'll be greeted by your Outlook's main mail interface. Next, navigate to the mail section of Outlook. This is your primary interface within Outlook where you can manage your emails. The next step involves switching to a different tab within Outlook, so locate the bottom left corner of the screen. Here you'll find icons for mail, calendar, people and tasks. Click on the calendar icon which will take you to the calendar section of Outlook. In the calendar view you'll see an overview of your existing events and schedules. This is where you can view all your personal and shared calendars. To create a new calendar, focus your attention on the left sidebar. The sidebar contains options for managing your current schedules and here you want to find and click on the add calendar option. This will present you with several options but today we are going to focus specifically on creating a new blank calendar. After clicking add calendar, a new window will pop up with various options to add a calendar. Look for create blank calendar and select it. This option allows you to build a calendar from scratch tailored specifically for your needs. Once selected, you'll be prompted to provide some details about your new calendar. In the next step, you'll need to name your calendar. Think of a name that reflects its purpose. If this calendar is for work purposes, perhaps you could call it work schedule or if it's for personal events, a title like family events might suit. Feel free to be as creative or practical as you like here. Naming your calendar appropriately will help in easily identifying it among others. Now customizing your calendar's appearance can make a difference in managing multiple calendars. Outlook provides an option to set a distinctive color for each calendar. While this step is optional, it can be extremely helpful if you juggle multiple schedules. Choose a color that stands out for you, ensuring your new calendar is recognizable at a glance. Click on the color palette next to the calendar name and select your preferred color. With your calendar named and colored, the final step in this process is saving the changes you've made. Look for the save button, often located at the bottom of the window or screen you're currently on. Click save and voila, your newly created calendar will now appear in the list of available calendars in the left sidebar. From here you can start adding events, meetings or reminders directly to your new calendar, ensuring you stay organized. Creating a new calendar in Outlook is a straightforward process as you've seen today. By customizing your calendar specifically for your needs, you can manage different aspects of your life or work without any confusion or overlap. Whether it's personal planning, work schedules or any other commitments, your new calendar is ready to become a crucial tool in your daily life. Thanks for watching and happy planning.